Hi, I'm John Kirkman. I am a broadcaster and journalist based in the UK. And again, another in the ongoing series of things you may have missed whilst you've been in lockdown or maybe interest you whilst you're in lockdown. And now all of these come from those wonderful people at Cherry Red Records. If not directly, then they're distributed by Cherry Red. I'm going to start off with this one, the Soft Machine. Now the Soft Machine are one of those there you go. It's a, it's three albums gathered together. What you get here is um, Softs and uh, Alive and in Paris and Bundles. There's three albums which are from 1975 and 1978. Um, I've had the, the great honour of working with the Soft Machine a number of times in America. They're a great bunch of guys and of course the, the lineup now still has some members that go back to the 70s, but they started essentially in the 60s uh, with people like David Allen, uh, Robert Wyatt, Mike Ratledge, and uh, Kevin Ayres, that's right. And uh, they were contemporaries of people like uh, Jimi Hendrix. Of course, over the years, various members have come and gone, and um, they still continue and they do play material right the way through the career. What you have here, again, in these beautiful box sets where they uh, collect all these uh, wonderful albums together, you have a nice poster with all the details of the albums there on the back. Now, the soft machine, people think, oh, that's jazz rock. Actually, there's, a, there's quite a bit of progressive rock in there. And there's some other photos of the various lineups that were in the band at the time. Alan Holdsworth there, of course. That's Mike Rattledge at the back. Um, I have to say that um, they are a bit of an acquired taste, but once you get into them, you kind of stuck there for life, believe me. Uh, they're a fabulous band. As I said, I was due to work with them um, again uh, in America, but I've worked with them twice in America. Uh, so far and each time it's been an absolute delight uh, these are three albums that really do bear reinvestigation they're great albums late era kind of when i say late era i mean they're still recording and making albums but late era in terms of the sort of 60s and 70s lineup um this is probably the final things they did in the 70s uh, there was a bit of a break but they are back together and um yeah i have to say a great band check them out if you get the opportunity now, here's an interesting box set. Mick Ronson. Of course, everybody remembers him as a member of David Bowie's band. He was uh, a chief guitarist and arranger for David Bowie. And he also made solo albums. Now, what you get here is the two albums he recorded for RCA. Uh, Play Don't Worry, which was his second album. And, of course, the first album, Slaughter on 10th Avenue. You also get an extra disc, the 1976 sessions, as you see here. And then you get a disc of rarities as well. Now, anyone who knows about Mick Ronson, they know, of course, that he worked with David Bowie. He also worked very briefly with Mott the Hoople and extensively with uh, Ian Hunter. And he did a lot of production work as well. Um, you get a book with some fabulous photos in. Uh, there's a nice one of uh, probably one of the promotion photos at the time. Um, and a great live shot here. Um, he didn't do much in the way of touring. He did a very famous uh, concert at the Rainbow in 1974, shortly after, I think, uh, or shortly before Play Don't Worry came out. There you go. That was a promo photo. He was, of course, signed to the main man management company, which, of course, was the management company uh, run by Tony DeFries, who actually managed David Bowie. Now, here are the sleeves here. That's, of course, Slaughter on 10th Avenue. That's Play Don't Worry. That was his second album. What you get here, there are the radio sessions, okay? Uh, 1976 sessions, sorry, and there are the rarities. Now, again, I suppose he was promoted as a pop star, hence the look, the, the glam, the silver, the, you know, the teased hair beautifully uh, coiffured platinum blonde guitarist but he was an amazing musician and this box set is a must for Bowie fans I have to say because this was done around about the time uh, that Mick had just left David's band and and I've always been a very contentious I always say 
whilst I love Diamond Dogs, I think it would have been a hundred percent album with Mick Ronson playing guitars. Not that I don't like David's guitar playing, I do, and I love the album, but it would have been absolutely out of this world with Mick Ronson playing guitar in it. But he was busy recording these albums contained in this box. Again, a nice collector's item. Now, here's an interesting one, Girl. They're a kind of glam rock band. I don't know, a little bit before the time of Poison, too late for the glam revival, I guess, in, uh, in the UK. They were signed to Jet Records, made two records for Jet Records, both very, very good uh, albums. And I remember seeing them supporting Kiss on the Creatures, I think it was the Creatures of the Night tour. Um, of course, Phil Lewis, the singer, went on to fame and fortune with the LA uh, Guns. And uh, Phil Collin, the guitarist, well, we all know, ended up in Def Leppard. This double set contains their debut album, Sheer Greed, and a live album as well, which because this band were absolutely huge in Japan. And I can remember how important they were in Japan. I mean, they really were a big deal. They were on the TV, they were on films and, and all sorts of things. So what you get here is a nice little package from, I would say, the sort of early 80s, 1980, when Sheer Greed came out, which is a really, really good album. Some good material on this album. And they were a great little band. It's a shame that they didn't actually click um, because they really did have something going for them. And they were great live, like I said. And uh, you can get that. All you've got to do is go to cherryred.co.uk, click on the menu button, and then in the search box, just put girl, and that one will come up. Now, here is a personal favourite of mine. Jim Capaldi. Now, as everybody knows, Jim Capaldi was a founding member and the drummer with Traffic. However, due to Steve Winwood being ill in around about 1972, I think it was, it was either just before or just after the uh, shootout of the Fantasy Factory, um, Jim Capaldi decided to make a solo album. So um, he did. Oh, how we danced. And it was recorded at Muscle Shoals. And then this is his second album, Whale Meet Again. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. This is one of my favourite albums from Jim. And he made many more after this, but this is essentially the island period. Shortcut, Draw Blood, and contains a number one single in there. That's uh, Jim's version of uh, the Emily Brothers song, Love Hurts. Now, what you also get in here is a DVD. Now, on the DVD, at the time of Shortcut, Draw Blood came out, he appeared on the old Grey Whistle Test. Played a couple of songs from that particular album, but it also, his band at the time, featured Steve Winwood on piano and also uh, Traffic's bass player, Roscoe G, on bass. Uh, so it's really, really nice capturing the moment there with uh, a couple of, three of the guys, three of the then four members of Traffic. The only one missing was Chris Wood. But also on here, you get an in concert, which was also for the whistle test. And that was with his full band. Steve Winwood's not on there, but Roscoe G certainly was still the bass player in the band. Um, I have to say, God bless him, he's no longer with us. A wonderful songwriter, um, an amazing musician, played with a lot of people, played with the likes of Eric Clapton, George Harrison, um, probably Bob Marley as well, because I know he's very friendly with Bob Marley. This really is a box set I really highly recommend. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, it's full of great music, full of fabulous musicians, all playing their hearts out. And um, the box is called Open Your Heart. It's a great box set and it covers a beautiful period in Jim Capaldi's uh, professional career. Uh, whilst he was in traffic and just after he left traffic, or traffic had split up, I think, at the time, by the time Shortcut Draw Blood came out. But well worth having. All of these boxes that I've mentioned are available via Cherry Red. You need to go to the website, cherryred.co.uk. In this instance, with Jim Capaldi, click on the menu button in the search box. Just put Jim Capaldi. That will come up. Uh, they have been uh, dispatching orders right the way through the lockdown and will continue to do so. So have no fear about ordering from Cherry Red. You will get your CDs pretty quickly or as soon as they possibly can to you. And as I said, the great thing about this is that uh, they are worldwide. You can buy them worldwide, which is great. Anyway, 
Stay safe wherever you are. Do stay well. And thanks for watching.